All right, this video we're going to talk about the Profiles tab of Chrome Developer Tools. This is an awesome tab and an awesome tool. It helps you really understand the execution time and memory usage of your whole web page or app. So the way you can do it, you can collect these profiles or snapshots. You can do a JavaScript CPU profile, which just goes through the execution time for the JavaScript, the heap snapshot, which is how the memory is distributed through your page's JavaScript object and DOM nodes, which is it describes to you on here, and the record heap allocation. So it's all of the JavaScript options over time. Uh, if there's a memory leak, something's going on with memory leaks, this heap allocation is a place to do that. Let's just start with the JavaScript profile. We're going to start that. Let's refresh the page so it has some fun data to work with, and we will stop. It keeps the profile over here, so let's do another one real quick. I want a heap snap snapshot. It does it just in a second. It's a snapshot. And then a heap allocation. I'm going to start, refresh the page, and stop. So I've got all, I've got these three profile types. It just took me a second. So the profile one, which is a CPU profile, it sets you up with a lot of information, just like all of these tabs. If anything overwhelms me, it's that there's so much data. I just don't know what to do with it or when I need to look at it. Um, remember, you're going to be using this when you're trying to figure out where memory is going and execution time, but there's a lot of tabs that have to do with execution time. This one is pretty specific for memory as well. So you can look at this information a couple different ways. In a chart, which is a really nice graphical allocation. If you had some data that took a little bit longer, that might be more useful. But again, it's whatever works for you. All right, so let's look at it bottom up. That's what works best for me, but you've got to find what works best for you. So let's see. Ooh, this has got a yellow exclamation point by it. It's got a, let's see what it says, compile nodes. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. If we click this first one, we can see what file it's in and where it's in in the JavaScript, exactly what's happening. Okay, so here we go. This is exactly what it was talking about when we were looking at the profile which I think is really cool. So luckily here there was nothing that seemed to take a ton of time. Everything here seems to be running pretty smoothly. But if that's not the case with your page and you're finding something taking a lot of memory, this is where it will show up. And you can find exactly where it is in your code that has the problem. All these tools are meant to help you in the process of not only just developing from the beginning but maintaining your web page. If something breaks, if something starts to not act right, it will save you a lot of time just finding exactly what's wrong. Let's take a look real quick at these snapshots because it's a little bit different. So this just says all the different elements that make up the document object model tree, all the things that are in HTML, CSS. Again, so much information. It's okay to not understand it all at once. I don't understand it all yet. But knowing it's there and familiarizing yourself with the language that they're using and how you can organize the information, when the time comes that you do need to use it, you'll know where to look and you'll know what's possible with these tools.